In the US, police dash cam footage has been released showing the arrest of a 28-year-old activist, Sandra Bland, who later died in Texas police custody. It shows an officer stopping and arresting her for a minor traffic violation. You mind putting out your cigarette, please, for mine? I'm in my car, but I have to put out my cigarette. Well, you can step on out now. Step no, out of the car. No, you don't have the right. I'm calling my lawyer. I'm going to yank you out of here. Okay, you're going to yank me out of my car? Don't touch me. Get don't out of the car. Me. Don't touch me. I'm not under arrest. You don't have the right to take You me are under car. arrest. Wow. Get out of the car. Wait, for a failure to signal. You're doing all of this for Get a over to there. For a fuck. You're about to break my wrist. Can you stop? stop? Bland was stopped by police for failing to indicate when changing lane. Well, this grainy video right here recorded by a bystander shows one or more officers pinning Bland to the ground. Sandra Bland was a 28-year-old activist who spoke out on issues of racism and police brutality. She just moved to Texas from Chicago for a new job. Three days after her arrest, Bland was found dead in her cell at the Waller County Jail in Texas. According to the authorities, she committed suicide by hanging herself. Texas police have also released a video taken from inside the county jail as paramedics arrived on the scene, though it doesn't reveal the moment of the death. Civil rights activist Carl Dix believes that even with so many videos throwing light on Sandra's arrest, it's not clear whether the police officer will be punished. This happens all the time. This time there is video and the death of Sandra Blonde pushes this out in to the public eye. We'll see whether the officer gets punished. He did violate actual law. There's no law that says a cop has the authority to arrest somebody because he doesn't like their attitude. And that's pretty clearly what's going on in that video. He doesn't like her attitude. She didn't listen to him when he said put out the cigarette. She was not being submissive and compliant with everything he laid down. Not that she was violating any laws. She just wasn't going along with what he said. There aren't laws that say you have to do that. And going further, he tells the person who was taking the video that they had to leave. And the law actually says they don't have to leave. Meanwhile, another person has died after being arrested by police, this time in the U.S. state of Mississippi. 30-year-old Troy Good has been hogtied and placed face down on a stretcher as police arrested him after reports he'd been behaving strangely in a car park. The man is said to have been uh, resisted. He resisted arrest. Now, the family's attorney says that Good, who was intoxicated at the time, suffered from asthma and shouted, I can't breathe. Police reportedly didn't react to the plea. He died later that day in hospital. An agricultural crisis has hit France. Angry farmers say the low price of milk and meat mean they can barely cover their costs. Producers across France accuse supermarkets of keeping prices artificially low. Some farmers dumped manure outside shops and blockaded roads in protest. 20,000 or 25,000 farmers are going to stop because of the prices. And uh, you know what's going on and you don't do anything for it. That's why we are here now, because we want to, everyone to know that we are in big, tr big trouble with the government and with our industry who buy our, our production. Many blame ill-conceived EU policies for the farming crisis. For instance, this year, milk quotas were lifted after more than 30 years, and milk companies haven't been shy about boosting production in response. Europe's largest producers like Germany and the Netherlands have flooded the markets of other countries and that's brought down the prices. While it's good news for the consumers, of course, it's not so great for farmers. Political analyst Pierre Schweitzer says the interests of French producers contradict a key principle of the EU. 
One of the principles of the European Union is free trade. And if you want to, if you want to buy somewhere else in the world or somewhere else in Europe, in the European Union, well, then you're allowed to. But then the French uh, fruit producers will be protesting. You know, governments in, uh, in the EU would like to, to be able to be allowed to encourage their own production, you know, their, their own uh, local farmers. Um, and it is forbidden now in the EU uh, laws and status. Well, now the French Prime Minister has called on the public to buy and eat French to save the livelihoods of the country's struggling farmers. Well, however, other French politicians aren't echoing his message at all because many of the products actually sold by major political parties are made in other countries. Even such a fiercely patriotic party as the far-right National Front sells products in China. Well, Pierre Schweizer says political parties are patriots in theory, but when it comes to the reality, they prefer to save money. These um, extreme right parties are portraying themselves as more patriotic than the others. Well, they just look more ridiculous than the others uh, buying all this stuff from uh, from foreign countries. French, uh, they are quite nationalist in theory, but when it comes to reality, well, if you can buy um, a kilo of fruit for, I don't know, two euros or less than the local French products, and it's very tempting, especially in, time, in a time of crisis. It's not clear whether Greece will receive its promised 86 billion euro bailouts, but Greek people are already facing the pain of some austerity measures. That's later on in the programme.